And we yeah. have Intelligent here. You're the hip hop vegan. That's what yes. everyone knows you as. Yeah. That's right. Hip hop heads since 1988. Vegan since 2000. I edited books written by rappers, published by rappers. My book was featured on Love and Hip Hop. I live and breathe hip hop. So what's up everybody, Shanna G here. Award winning model since 2006, vegan since 2018, featured in fashion shows and commercials, inside magazines and on the cover of magazines, and I've even been written about in an anthology. We've been together for five years. Bonded through our love for entrepreneurship, health, and entertainment. I'm a graphic designer for my company, Kuzi Arts. And together we own Uswear, a clothing line that empowers people through fashion. We're a vegan couple handling business and interviewing business owners. So watch us prepare vegan food and review vegan restaurants. And catch us entertaining ourselves through the arts, music, and other activities. Welcome to Vegan Biz. So this is what your heart to palm look like. A little close up there. You could use this for all different type of seafood recipes from calamaris to fish. Of course, we're doing the carfish right now for the Akian salt fish. So we got our heart to palm on the cutting board, our glass cutting board here. And you're gonna start off with a slice down the middle. Boom. Simple like that. Take that over. And we're gonna do thin slices. It'll be try to do it diagonally, give it a little shape, and kind of give it that, that fish feel of the actual sawfish. Codfish, excuse me. AKA sawfish. That's about where you want it. Nice pieces like that. So when you got all of the hearts of palm cut up, you're gonna have a nice little batch about this much. Perfect. So what we gotta do now is take this and let it marinate inside of some flavors and seasonings with some water. So here we have our container. Now we're gonna put the hearts of palm in. Boom. Knock that off. Shake it up a little bit, even it out. So now we got our seasonings together. We're gonna to start off, of course, gotta have that black pepper. Gotta have some garlic pepper. Garlic powder, you know, I put that on everything, OD. And because this is a fish recipe, we got some Old Bay in there to give you that flavor, a little seafood flavor, and the special Aki seasoning, Ocho's Rios. They're the only ones I know make that. So I don't give, usually give y'all all of the, uh, every single seasoning, but since this is a little different, we're doing um, fish. I know it's a little different, hearts of palm, so... I'm going to give it to you straight up. So you start off, you know, you a little pepper, the old Bizet, old Beezy, Obama, old Bay. Probably going to add a little more, but that's just a starter. Garlic, you know, I overdose with that. So we hit that hard. And last but not least, the is Aki, Aki seasoning, Aki, Aki and saltfish. Hit that up in there. Then we're gonna start off with some water. All right. So we got a, a cup of water. I don't know if that's gonna work. We'll see if we need to add a little more. So now what we wanna do is give it a little mix. You don't want to really break it up. You know, parts of palm is delicate. Uh, 
And then we let that sit for a second. And last but not least, when you really want to make that fishy flavoring, you got to have the nori sheets, which in essence is just seaweed. Boom. Organic roasted seaweed. So, get those together. Pop these open. Boom. Got your seaweed. So here, these are small, so you got quite a few sheets there. But you want to crumble these up. This is what's really going to give you that sea flavor. Some people take these, put them in a blender or cut them up. This right here is good enough for me. Boom. Yeah, once again. So now we're kicking. I think we're gonna hit it a little, a little bit more old bay. A little bit more garlic. I'm gonna call it a day. That. Of course, if you want salt, you put salt. I usually don't cook with a lot of salt because you put it afterwards, even though this is salt fish recipe, so we probably put some later. Mm. Fat. I think I'm going to add a little bit more of that seaweed. So we grabbed another pack, and this is another way you can do it. Get your little cutting scissors, cooking scissors, and just hit it. This is really going to give it that flavor, man. A lot of people don't know how to do vegan fish alternatives. And a lot of people is not into the soy or the mock meats. So, this is your best way to hit it. Um, it's a little messy. It's falling all outside the container. Um, that thing covered in there deep. Now we're going to let this marinate. How long you let it marinate, the longer, obviously, the more flavor is going to soak in. Some people go over a 24-hour period, let it rock for a day. But we're going to let it rock for a few hours. You can smell it. Thing smelling good. All right, so we got our ingredients here. We got some red bell peppers. We got some scallions. We got some tomatoes, plum tomatoes, pulled those straight out the garden. Got some fresh thyme. We got some red onions. And we got some fresh garlic. So we're going to get all that put together and make it do what it do. So, of course, a party ain't a party without the Aki. So this is our Aki right here inside the can. It's not fresh. Unfortunately, we don't live in Jamaica where we can go just pull them off the tree and get it popping. So we got to resort to the can. This is actually a fruit for those who don't know. It's Jamaica's uh, national fruit. But it's, you know, got kind of a taste like a vegetable to a degree. So we're going to pop this out of the can and show you what it looked like. So this is what it's looking like inside the can. Not too impressive at this point. When it comes in water, you know, and it got uh, preservatives in there. So we got to take that out and drain it out. So this is what our Aki looked like outside of the can. You got 18 ounces right there, a little over a pound. So we're going to get it popping here. Start off first with the onions. 
get those in there. And after the onions, we hit the bell peppers up in there. Let me get our tomatoes and the garlic. And of course, the thyme. We'll save our scallions for later. You don't want to overcook those and give little flavor to it, so it's really just kind of a garnish. So you hit that in the wok for a minute. You don't want to go too crazy with it. Just brown it up a little bit. Flip that thing. Mm -hmm. All right, since we're about to cook down, time to throw those scallions in there. Green onions. It's all nice and done. Time to get that Aki ready. up in there. Still got a little water left in the aki, so we don't need to add no more oil or anything. You gotta be careful when you cook it with the aki. You don't want to really just break it up. It's delicate. You got the temperature about on medium. Let that rock for a minute. Turn it up a little bit. Now, a little salt up in there. Himalayan pink sea salt. Pink sea salt. You grind a little pepper up in there. Pepper be taking that forever to grind, man. Okay. Uh, so this is about done. You let it rock for a few minutes. What I'm going to do next is get our salt fish ready. The cod fish, AKA the, the veganized version, the hearts of palm. So I'm gonna take this out and put the hearts of palm in. It's all gonna be mixed together eventually, so we're using the same wok. We got our hearts of palm, hearts of palm. That's the seaweed in it. It was soaking for about uh, six hours marinating. So you're gonna put this in here just a second and hit a little more of those seasonings that we used earlier. So hit a little salt. We're putting on earlier, we'll put some now. We grind a little pepper. Mm 
and garlic. A little Aki seasoning. A little Old Bay. Old Bay Bay Bay. Old Bay Bay Bay. Old Bay Bay Bay. Old Bay Bay See, if y'all watch the Boondocks, Boondocks, you be up on who Obese is. That's what Riley used to call Obama, Obese. <laughs> That's my show. All right. Looking good, babe. Yeah. Cool. Think about that, Shannon G. Looking good, looking good. It's our fishless fish. Mm-hmm. Cruelty free, plant based, heart attack free. High blood pressure free. Diabetes free. Cancer free. Health as well. All right, so we let that rock enough. In fact, we'll get a quick more second. Another quick second. We're gonna come back with our final mix with the Aki and the veggies. The last thing to that is some of that Aki seasoning. That thing looking good now. That's how you do it. Turn that off. Let that sit for a second. Plate it up and taste it. So this is what the finished product looked like. Got that thing looking good. About to give it a taste. See all those different colors and flavors. You wanna see what it's about. All right, so we about to give this thing a little sample, see what it's about. Looking good. Make sure we got a little of the Aki. Got a little hearts palm there. Some of the veggie. Mm-hmm. All right. Good texture. Interesting texture. I, don't, I ain't eat fish in over 20 years. So I don't know what t- fish you can taste like, but I like it. Seasonings is good. Uh, it's like a good combination. I don't know what it would have tasted like separate, but together, it's, it's good. It's a good look. Mm. This is something, although it's traditionally a breakfast dish, you can eat this any time of the day. And right now, technically, it's not breakfast anyway. I started this on, at breakfast early when I started marinating the hearts of palm. But yeah, this this is what's up. Yeah. Hmm. It's good. The sea, uh, the um, seaweed. That's a good look in there. Hmm. Yeah, this, this thumbs up. It's definitely hip hop vegan approved right here. Shout out to my Jamaicans. I know I'm probably butchering y'all meal. I'm trying the best I can. I gotta get some of my homies to come through and really hook this thing up how it's supposed to be. Shout out to Bad Gal Vegan. We need, we need some, we need some Aki and Sod Fish Bad Gal. Yeah. Aki and Sod Fish. Hip Hop Vegan approved. It's what it is, man. Make sure y'all check our channel. Subscribe. Hit that little bell button so you get a notification. You know when we popping. Catch us on Instagram. I'm at the Hip Hop Vegan, the Hip Hop Vegan on Instagram. Shanna is on Empress Shanna G. Catch us, see what we up to, and of course, catch out um, our YouTube channel, Vegan Biz. Yeah, this is what's up. I gotta go finish knocking this out. So I say peace and health is wealth. But before I do that. 
I'm outside and I'm about to go out to the wilderness and come back and knock this out. So we are gonna strap up because COVID is real. We don't know if the government is lying to us about the numbers, but if we want some health as well stuff, we gotta be safe. Peace.